Good Wednesday evening and welcome to the NCW Life Evening News. I'm Grant Olson. Before we get to today's top news stories, let's take a quick look outside that weather window and felt like summer today once again today, didn't it out there as we look down at the Wenatchee Valley from our Wenatchee Heights cross camera and thank you to Local Tell and Sky 5 for prov providing this beautiful shot of our valley. Lots of blue sky out there and just a few clouds and temperatures very mild and warm today. In fact, almost all of us into the lower 90s today. And I'll tell you what, folks, get used to that trend. We'll take a little bit of a dip in temperatures on Friday and then look what happens as we get into Sunday and beyond. Sunday, 94 possibly 98 the high temperature in Wenatchee on Monday and 97 on Tuesday. We'll talk more about this heat wave coming up a little bit later on in your weather forecast. And now a few of the stories we're following for you tonight. Despite having trouble gaining access to the property, firefighters were able to get quick control over a brush and a debris fire off to Milk Creek Road south of Wenatchee yesterday afternoon. A Wenatchee man sentenced to 20 days in jail is one of the last members of a Wenatchee Valley gambling ring brought to justice. And an East Wenatchee man faces possible charges of cyber stalking after he allegedly harassed his 15-year-old former girlfriend. But first, we begin tonight. An agricultural worker in his 30s has been identified as Okanagan County's third person to die from COVID-19. Okanagan County Public Health reported Tuesday that the man, a resident of Mexico, had no chronic or underlying health issues when he died on July 8th. The county has seen a surge in positive tests recently, including 51 new cases Monday and Tuesday and 147 positive tests in the past two weeks. Brewster residents accounted for 46 of the latest 71 positive tests. Well, despite having trouble gaining access to the property, firefighters were able to get quick control over a brush and debris fire off to Milk Creek Road south of Wenatchee Tuesday afternoon. The debris and log pile burned just outside a residence in the 4300 block of Stamilk Creek Road before being doused. The fire was first reported at 3.23 p.m. and firefighters could only use brush trucks on an old bridge to gain access. Chelan County Fire District 1 spokeswoman Kay McKellar said the fire was contained by 3.54 p.m. and then mop-up completed by 5.21 p.m. Douglas County Fire District 2 also responded to the fire. The cause is under investigation. Well, a Wenatchee man sentenced to 20 days in jail is one of the last members of a Wenatchee Valley gambling ring brought to justice. Sergio Peña Hernandez Sr. pleaded guilty on Monday to two counts of second-degree professional gambling. He admitted his part in a ring that operated out of several businesses in Wenatchee, Kashmir, and Quincy, and then laundered an estimated $364,000 in illegal betting proceeds from 2013 to 2017. The ringleader, Jose Guadalupe Torres of East Wenatchee, was sentenced back in March to six months in jail. Three other people also have entered pleas in the case, which came to light in 2018. The group gave odds and then paid out winnings on international soccer matches. Well, an East Wenatchee man faces possible charges of cyber stalking after he allegedly harassed his 15-year-old former girlfriend. Police say Daniel Ramirez Hernandez, who's 18, sent threatening Snapchat messages to the girl as well as following her, parking outside her Wenatchee home, and making unwanted phone calls. Police arrested Ramirez on Tuesday at an apartment in the 1100 block of Knight Street and said they also found two firearms plus marijuana extract packaged for sale there. Ramirez was jailed and due to appear in Chelan County Superior Court this afternoon. Well, coming up next, Eastmont School District Superintendent Garn Christensen says the district is working with the Chelan Douglas Health District and state in preparing for the return of classroom instruction this fall. Slidewaters, Lake Chelan's popular water park, lost a major case yesterday in federal court, and now it's up to a Chelan County court to decide whether it can remain open. And K-9 Reuben is back on duty for the Chelan County Sheriff's Office after undergoing surgery in June for a cancerous tumor on his right rear leg. I'm Grant Olson, and you're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Goodbye. 
Introducing the most capable Sierra lineup ever. It's estimated that one third of Americans do not have a financial plan. At DA Davidson, their advisors are working to change that because they understand the importance of planning for the future. At DA Davidson, they believe in partnering together to build a strategy tailored to your needs. They spend the time and have the knowledge to help keep your financial future on track. Let DA Davidson Financial Advisors of Wenatchee put the strength of advice to work for you. Hi, this is Brian Snyder with Black Rock Asphalt Services here in Wenatchee, your local Black Rock Seal Coat company. Have you looked at your driveway or parking lot lately? Is it gray and oxidized? Does it have cracks that have not been taken care of? Or do you have striping that is pretty much non-existent? Please give us a call locally here, 509-665-9769. Learn more at blackrockasphaltsealcoating.com. Welcome back. In another news, Eastmont School District Superintendent Garn Christensen says the district is working with the Chelan Douglas Health District and state in preparing for the return of classroom instruction this fall. Christensen said on Tuesday that part of that planning includes the possible return to remote learning if that becomes necessary. In response to the COVID-19 outbreak, Governor Jay Inslee ordered all public and private schools closed back on March 13th. Good morning, I'm Garn Christensen, Superintendent of Eastmont Schools. We're preparing actively right now as we look at starting the 2021 school year. Uh, we completed parent surveys with over 2,000 responses. Uh, the numbers indicate that over 60% of our parents would prefer to come back to our campus and have their children receive instruction there as much as possible. Uh, the remainder are either looking at online or a hybrid blend. As we speak, we've got both safety teams and instructional teams working hard to put together our plans for next year. Uh, some determinations that we've made so far, we will continue to use a Google Classroom platform and Google Meeting. Uh, this helps students, so if they get have to go home because they get infected or someone in their home is isolated and they need to stay home for up to 14 days, they can participate and we'll have common platforms throughout the district. We will be sending out Chromebooks with all students. Every student will be checked out one for the year. This, this helps prevent transmission from one student to the next as we share devices and prevents that. All of the plans we put together have to meet both state and local requirements. Uh, this will be a process that we'll move through over the next several weeks and we have to have that done before we start school. The resources that we're using include uh, working closely with our local health department. We're working uh, following the state uh, Department of Health requirements, the CDC, as well as looking also at the information that's been put out by the American Academy of Pediatrics. These requirements are changing weekly. We were just informed that uh, there'll be some updated changes from the CDC on how to start schools next week. We also are required to plan for a shutdown contingency. So if for any reason we have to close schools, whether it's for a week or two weeks or longer, we can go back to uh, another type of learning, remote learning, as quickly as possible and hopefully with a better quality than we were able to do at the end of the school year. Uh, we will have masks for pretty much so all high interaction activities. Uh, we do hope that some activities, masks will not be required, but once again, we'll be following all the requirements. It will be a very interesting year to say the least. Uh, please look for weekly updates over the next several weeks uh, from different leaders here in Eastmont. And we wish everyone uh, the very best uh, during these challenging times. And remember, wear your masks when you're out and among others. Slidewaters, Lake Chelan's popular water park, lost a major case yesterday in federal court, and now it's up to a Chelan County court to decide whether it can remain open. Slidewaters owners have defied Governor Jay Inslee's executive orders closing most businesses during the COVID-19 pandemic and filed lawsuit last month to overturn them. U.S. District Judge Thomas Rice turned down their initial request and today he threw out their lawsuit altogether saying the governor's orders are lawful and the Department of Labor and Industries has the power to enforce them. The state now will ask a Chelan County Superior Court judge to declare the park has violated the COVID-19 Safe Start guidelines. 
Slidewaters reopened on June 20th, even though Chelan County remains in phase one of the state safe start guidelines. Under safe start, water parks are barred from operating until phase three. K-9 Reuben is back on duty for the Chelan County Sheriff's Office after undergoing surgery in June for a cancerous tumor on his right rear leg. The Sheriff's Office reports the drug detection dog had his stitches removed on Tuesday and has already made a successful drug bust. The biopsy of his lump did come back as sarcoma, so he is starting medication to reduce the potential spread of that cancer. On Tuesday, the Sheriff's Office reported that Reuben was welcomed back to the office with a round of belly rubs. You're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Coming up next, tonight's feature story and your complete local weather forecast. That and much more still to come on the NCW Life Evening News. Please stay with us. All the fun is around the corner. There's no better time to get ready than now with Blue Lagoon Pool and Spa Sale. Stock up and save sale is now going on in store and online at bluelagoonpoolandspa.com. Even pool heaters are on sale. Financing available upon approval. Credit 24 month, no interest with equal payments. Stop by today or order online at bluelagoonpoolandspa.com. Free water testing available in store or curbside. Don't wait. The sale is going on now. AC Checker has new owners who put customer service first. When you have to get there on time, call fast, friendly, reliable AC Checker, 663-TAXI. AC Checker has the industry's only on-time or it's free guarantee. Conditions apply. Call AC Checker, 663-TAXI to schedule your cab or schedule online at acchecker.com. Call American Classic Taxi, 663-TAXI. That's 663-8294. You love to help others. You need a solid career. You can have it all with help from Charter College. Our 10-month medical assistant program prepares you to work in healthcare settings like physician offices, rehab centers, and clinics. You'll learn to take patient vitals, assist with exams, administer injections, and maintain medical records. When you're ready to launch a rewarding healthcare career, visit chartercollege.edu because we work to get you to work. Welcome back to the NCW Life Evening News. The Wenatchee Valley Museum and Cultural Center may be closed to the public during the pandemic, but they've pulled out all the stops to keep their collection virtually accessible. In tonight's feature story, the museum has produced a series of six videos so far called Curator's Corner with collections coordinator Anna Spencer showing off treasures from Wenatchee's past. Tonight, with local sports on the back burner, she offers a look back at the baseball legacy of the Wenatchee Chiefs. <laughs> Welcome back to Curator's Corner. I'm Anna Spencer. This is Jill Sheep. Today we're in another part of the museum that holds our collections and we'll be heading into room A030 to look at, back at some history on the Wenatchee Chiefs. Today we'll be highlighting a piece of Wenatchee Chiefs baseball history, specifically this baseball right here. It is made out of horse leather and cork and is signed by the 1947 Wenatchee Chiefs baseball team. See a lot of the names, some have faded. The ball itself has discolored. It is up here with many other baseballs from the Chiefs. How long were the Chiefs in Wenatchee? The Chiefs started in 1937 and went through 1965, briefly stopping during World War II. Did any of the Chiefs turn pro? A few of the Chiefs turned pro. Uh, Bill Bevins went on to play for the New York Yankees. Cloud Austin went on to play for the Oakland A's, and Ken Holtzman went on to play for the Chicago Cubs. Did they ever win a pennant or anything? Uh, the year before, 1947, the one that we just highlighted, 1946, they won the pennant, and that was the first year after the war that they were allowed to play again. A lot of baseballs in there. A lot of baseballs, a lot of sign balls. And a trophy. I see a trophy. Mm hmm
So the ring, what's the ring? The ring is from 1957 when they won the Northwestern Championship. Thank you, and join us next time as we discover something cool and interesting in our collection. Time now for a check of your North Central Washington weather forecast. And as we always do before we get to those details, let's take a beautiful look outside our weather window today. And this is provided by Local Tell and Sky Fi. It's our cross camera up on Wenatchee Heights, taking a look at the beautiful Wenatchee Valley. Just a few light, high, thin clouds along the mountaintops, a few wispy clouds out there too. But I'll tell you what, it got warm out there today. Unofficially high temperature in the Wenatchee area got to 93 degrees at Pangborn. Airport, and that's above where we should be for this time of year. Our normal high temperature is around 87 degrees, so it did get warm out there today. But boy, typical summer day, right? In around north central Washington, still haven't picked up any new precipitation, and that is becoming significant because now we're almost an inch and a quarter behind where we should be for this time of year as far as precip. And boy, I just mentioned earlier on with things warming up, a bad situation is brewing as far as fires go. Record high. 105 and that was set back in 2014 record low 50 degrees in 1986 sunrise this morning 520 and the sun will set for us tonight at 853 heading towards the end of the week now let's take a look at how our Thursday weather forecast shapes up and it's almost identical to today folks so we'll just get it out there right now temperatures almost identical 94 Moses Lake 93 in Afreda about 92 for Quincy lower 90s in the Wenatchee area we could still see about a 93 uh, degree day tomorrow as well. 88 for Leavenworth and 91 the high temperature tomorrow in Chelan. Taking a look at tonight, we'll take you through the next seven days now. We will see a little bit of a breeze tonight. We're seeing winds out there about 10 miles an hour today. It'll be very mild tonight too with low temperatures around 70 here in the Wenatchee area. Lots of clear skies too around the western United States and get used to that trend because we're going to see lots of sunshine. A little bit breezy tomorrow too. In fact, our breeziest day, I think, we'll still see mostly sunny skies. And as I mentioned, high temperatures still on the mild side, mostly in north central Washington and eastern Washington in the lower 90s. As we get into Friday, more wind, even though I think it will be a little bit less for Friday. Slightly cooler, too. We are seeing a bit of a system move through on Friday. It won't affect us much as far as rain goes. Just bring us a few more clouds and cool us down a little bit. And then on Saturday, lots of sunshine to kick off our weekend and that's where we will see the beginning of our next real real warming trend of the summer as temperatures get very warm by the end of this forecast Sunday sunny skies light wind we will continue that warm up here in eastern Washington Sunday we're talking temperatures at least into the mid 90s for Monday as we move into the first part of our next work week things are going to get even warmer sunny skies and unseasonably we're just going to say it hot for this time of year keep in mind 87 Seven is our normal high. Monday, we are going to be at least 10 degrees above that. All of us in the lower to mid to even upper 90s on Monday. Tuesday, more of the same. High pressure in control of our weather. A big dome of uh, high pressure over us. And that means hot weather with highs on Tuesday, once again, in the upper 90s. Let's take a look now at your Patriot Plumbing, Heating and Cooling 7-day forecast. There it is. Low temperature tonight of 70, 91 and breezy for Thursday. Sunny skies on Friday and 88. And then we will just warm up. Let's jump all the way to Monday, 97 then, and 96, your high temperature on Tuesday. And that's a look at your local weather forecast. Coming up next, tonight's sports report with Eric Grandstrom and more as the NCW Life e Evening news continues right after this. I'm Tom from Alpine Air Heating and Cooling. At Alpine Air, we think of ourselves as customer service oriented retailers. When you make an appointment, please visit our store, meet our people, see our shop. We are serious about heating and air conditioning. Carrier and Alpine Air are offering huge factory rebates and financing options for all your needs. Turn to the experts at Carrier and Alpine Air. Call for your free replacement estimate. Heat and Air, call Alpine Air. 662-6846.
Coming home should never be a chore. Let Mary Maids of Wenatchee customize all your cleaning needs. Weekly, bi-weekly, special occasion. Do you have a vacation home that needs cleaning? We clean them too. Locally owned and operated, let Mary Maids do the cleaning while you focus on your family and friends. Mary Maids has special offers to fit your budget. Request your free cleaning estimate today. 509-663-1710. a sports update on the NCW Live channel. And a happy Wednesday to you. For the first time since March, Eastmont High School held sports activities for student athletes on Monday. Athletic Director Russ Waterman said even though it was just a socially distanced workout, it was great to see the kids again. The greatest thing that gave me goosebumps all day was seeing our kids back back on campus a little bit and doing a limited workout just that interaction with each other getting to have that social uh contact not physical but being around their teammates and doing some stuff we did we started with uh, soccer at 7 30 in the morning they were out there for about 45 minutes to so an hour uh, we started our weight room and conditioning program with with a lot of safety protocols in place that i'll talk about uh, at eight uh, volleyball came in, cheer came in, boys basketball came in last night. Today, cross country is going to go do a run uh, over in at Hydro with social distancing and, and girls basketball is going to just do some skill things tonight. So that was exciting just to see the kids back. It, it felt right. You just don't know how much you miss it till it's not there and it just felt right. Well, despite Douglas County only being at a modified phase one of the state's restart program, Eastmont got the go-ahead from local and state health officials to begin summer sports programs with strict protocols. Yeah, the difference is the right word. It's just different. You know, we've, we've got so many guidelines and protocols that are in place that, that, are, that were put forward by the WIAA. Those are also mirroring those from OSPI. Uh, you know, we do a screen check on the athletes when they arrive. We do a temperature. We ask them the questions of, of exposure. Or do you have these kind of things like loss, a new loss of uh, sense of uh, taste and smell? Do you have a cough? Do you, have a, do you feel like feverish? Do you feel chills? Do you feel nausea? Have you been around somebody that's uh, suffering from COVID or cared for somebody? So we, we do that screening check, and then, then we, we keep them social distant, even in their pods. So uh, I'll take the uh, conditioning portion of it. Uh, we do four pods of four. We have two coaches working one inside, one outside. Um, and then so those group of four, they work together within the social distance parameters of six feet. Uh, they're doing conditioning when they're not working out. They have a mask on. So we're, we're, we're working on uh, staying with the mask order that the governor's asked for. Uh, in the weight room, uh, there's 15 to 20 feet between workout racks. Uh, when, when session one goes, we change racks. We have enough racks in our weight room that we could change racks. So no racks used twice consecutively. The other ones are then clean. The only other school district to return to play this week is Kashmir. Wenatchee chose not to return until Chelan County enters phase two of the state's restart plan. Well, Tuesday's scrimmage at T-Mobile Park for the Mariners included power at the plate from the young and not so young. Evan White had a first inning home run for the Steelheads, followed by a two-run shot by Kyle Seeger for the Pilots. Aaron Goldschmidt and Gary Taylor were looking on for a sparse YouTube audience. Chris had a couple of really strong starts out of the gate. This is cranked down the left field line by White, and it bangs fair and gone. Well, maybe it's Evan White today. Evan White with a solo smash. And the crowd goes wild. Seems like they've been louder for past home runs. <laughs> In the first start, like how many innings do you expect? This is pumped by Seeger. Hang it up and bye bye. Seeger with a blast. That's a two run shot. It's an odd feel. I think. Having a crowd in the background is going to feel and sound natural to the ear. Kelnick gets it in left field. And a couple of men come home. Shed Long with a stinging base hit into left. 
It was only a five inning scrimmage, but the Steelheads came out on top four to three. Now, an intriguing piece of restarting baseball was the choice by players whether to play or not. In the end, it was an individual choice for young players like Seattle outfielder Jake Fraley, who has two young children. Wasn't an easy decision to come by, but he's proud to be playing. I think it's a lot easier for guys that are a little bit more established, uh, maybe have a little bit more money in their pocket. Um, you know, for me, I'm, you know, I'm a young guy. I'm trying to make a name for myself in, in, the, in the league. Um, and for me, and, and the ability for me to do that is to be on the field. It's, that's not going to happen when I'm sitting on the couch at home, regardless of, um, you know, how bad I think uh, or is the virus right now um, and where it's going to go. So for me, it was um, it wasn't a tough decision. You know, I, I want to be out there um, again, you know, getting here and, and really going through the routine. It's been awesome to be able to see the, the protocols and the things that MLB has put in place, as well as the Mariners, you know, honoring those protocols and doing those every day um, takes a lot of that pressure off of us. You know, since I've been here, it's one of those things where, um, you know, that decision that was obviously very scary very um you know a thing that you know, obviously none of us are used to uh coming into this has turned into uh you know a lot more peace as we've gone through all this and um you know it, it to me it's been a, a blessing of a decision that i've made because i'm here i'm playing um everything's been going you know according to plan um and you know hopefully it continues to do that uh, as we get into these uh 60 games now, Fraley hopes to be part of the mix when Seattle travels to Houston to begin the season next Friday. Mariner fans, by the way, you can watch the daily scrimmages at T-Mobile Park on Seattle's YouTube page. Just search Seattle Mariners. That's Sports News. I'm Eric Grandstrom. Grant, back to you. Thank you very much, Eric. And finally tonight, high school, I should say, let's check in with Dan Koontz finally tonight for a look at what's coming up tomorrow morning on Wake Up Wenatchee Valley. Dan? Thanks. Tomorrow is Thursday, and on uh, July 16th, it is always National Personal Chefs Day. Nas National Personal Chefs Day. Um, just kidding, you. You got to make a lot. You got to be like Grant, really. You got to be like you, Grant. You got to make a tremendous amount of money in order to afford a personal chef, somebody to cook your own meals, uh, gourmet style, uh, available for you. I had one personal chef. It was many, many years ago. When I was interviewing him, uh, he said his name was Bob Smith. I said, great, I'd like you to bring you on as a personal chef, Bob. But then I did a background check on him, and it turns out he was an Italian guy, and I didn't hire him because his real name was, was Sal Manella. Decided not to hire him. We'll talk about that and everything you need to start your Thursday. Tomorrow morning, live and local, wake up on Angie Valley. Grant, back to you. Dan, thank you. That's going to do it for our newscast tonight. For more on these stories and other news from around North Central Washington, you can find us on Facebook or our website at ncwlife.com. And remember, if you see news happening, we'd like to hear from you. You can send us an email at news at ncwlife.com or give us a call at 888-6295. I'm Grant Olson. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night. My car's making a funny noise. Not a problem. We'll take care of you. Global Car Care's technicians are ASE master techs and well-versed in the more refined methods of vehicular diagnostics. Number three piston and rings have a slight loss of compression, down to 108 pounds. Your transmission is slipping. You're going to need a service. Looks like you're all set. These guys? They're good. Oh, and your spare is flat. Global Car Care, Wenatchee's top shop. Kindness makes a world of difference at Boswell's. Donate $50 or more to charity and save more than ever before on stressless seating. Save at least $300 on stressless recliners and office chairs. Plus save hundreds more with $200 off every sofa seat you buy. There's never been a better time to help others and fill your home with the unmatched comfort of stressless seating. Be kind and save generously at Boswell's. Hey everyone, Fletcher and Amy Ellingson here from Live It Up. Join us every week as we answer your questions on health, wealth, and relationships. We're all about you creating a life that you love, so tune in to Live It Up.